Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. Today, we celebrate fourth Sunday in ordinary time. It is also pro-life Sunday. Together with our own particulars, this Mass is also offered for the intentions of the following. Thanksgiving offered by Victor family, Pio Quinto and Lopez families, Arnel and Rowena Zedeno, Zamora family, Rika, Celine, Jel, Liam, Ferdimar Eslava. For the special intention and petition of Monsignor Guido Marini, Jotham Gumingin, Jordan Sedeno and Nikki, Zenaida Luzano and family, Gurley Bayan and family. We also pray for the repose of the souls of our faithful departed, Bishop Carlito Senzon, Rudy T. Salcedo, Venancio T., Luz T. Kelly, Pasita, Salcedo T., Braulio, and Einstein Yaranon, Victoriana, and Eleuterio Sr., Eleuterio Jr., Estrella, Andrada, and June Guirnalda, Virgilio Bert Carion, XT Anionevo, Belen Deo Gracias, Edna Villanueva, Adrian Amper, Francisco Roberto, Melchor Labitas, Antonio Agpawa, Marceliano, Simona, Jeronimo Conchita and Maximo Zapanta, Clarita Calvento, Evelyn and Roberta Pasqua, Ernesto Senior and Edraline Pasqua, e Emily Dolit, Brigido Bonus, Rosita Eslau Gardo, Alcarte Gardo, Melchora Gardo, Belen Deo Gracias, Edna Villanueva, Adrian Amper, Gregorio de Villa Andul, Panfilo and Pasita Molina, Catalina and, and Gracia Andul, Francisco Ang, Roger Lumanlan, Rosie Gionco, Joe Moya, Gregorio del Val Villa Andul, Catalina and, and Fracia Andul, Gregorio George Atos Jr., Manuel Nuval Rentigrado, Severo Lorenzo, Eduardo Victor, Dorothea Can Gandesa, Ladislao Gabriz, Joselito, Noel, and Leonardo Cabuñag, Rockleo Baston, Felix Pablihan, all the relatives and friends of Cabuñag families, Jeffrey, Primo, and Elena Gaspar, Palsic, and Samina Caniteng, Mac Macario Primo, Marcelo Roquino, Maria Simeon, Helen Kakam, Francisco and Rosa Pasayon, Edith Balikau, Andres Gilbert, and Toots Fianza, Saturnina Diaz, Pablito Hernandez, Marcelina Tangalin, Juanito Nimer, and all souls in purgatory. We all stand. Here in this time, here in this place, here we're standing face to face. Here in our hearts, here in our lives, our God is here. Here for the broken, here for the strong, here in this temple we belong. Here in our hearts, here in our lives, our God is here. And we cry, holy, holy, holy are you. We cry, holy, holy, holy and true. Amen, we do believe our God is here. Our God is here. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we, for we have, have sinned against, against you. you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant and us your, your salvation. salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. 
Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on, and on earth, earth peace, peace to, to people, people of goodwill. Of goodwill. We, we praise, praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to all the people, saying, A prophet like me will the Lord your God raise up for you from among your own kin. To him you shall listen. This is exactly what you requested of the Lord your God at Oreb on the day of the assembly when you said, let us not again hear the voice of the Lord our God, nor see this great fire any more, lest we die. And the Lord said to me, This was well said. I will raise up from them a prophet like you from among their kin, and will put my words into his mouth. He shall tell them all that I command him. Whoever will not listen to my words, which he speaks in my name, I myself will make him answer for it. But if a prophet presumes to speak in my name, an oracle that I have not commanded him to speak, or speaks in the name of other gods, he shall die. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If today you hear his voice, Harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us, for he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice. Harden not your hearts, as at Meribah, as on the day of Massa in the desert, where your fathers tempted me. They tested me, though they had seen my works. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I should like you to be free of anxieties. An unmarried man is anxious about the things of the Lord, how he may please the Lord. But a married man is anxious about the things of the world, how he may please his wife, and he is divided. An unmarried woman or a virgin is anxious about the things of the Lord so that she may be holy in both body and spirit. A married woman, on the other hand, is anxious about the things of the world, 
how she may please her husband. I am telling you this for your own benefit, not to impose a restraint upon you, but for the sake of propriety and adherence to the Lord without destruction. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. The people who sit in darkness have seen a great light on those dwelling in a land overshadowed by death. Light has arisen. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. When they came to Capernaum, and on the Sabbath, Jesus entered the synagogue and taught, the people were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. In their synagogue was a man with an unclean spirit. He cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Quiet, come out of him. The unclean spirit convulsed him, and with a loud cry came out of him. All were amazed and asked one another, What is this? A new teaching with authority. He commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. His fame spread everywhere throughout the whole region of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, in place of uh, today's regular homily is the reading of a pastoral statement from the CBCP that our bishop mandated us to share uh, during the Masses on the fourth Sunday of Ordinary Time. So this uh, pastoral statement is entitled pastoral statement on stewardship, and it is taken from 1 Peter 4, 4 uh, verse 10. As each one has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's varied graces. Dear people of God, we mark this year, the 500th year of the coming of our coming to our shores of the Christian faith. Our commemoration of the event is an acknowledgement of this immense gift to our people and our land. We did not only receive the, the faith, but also allowed it to take root and grow in our Filipino culture throughout these years. With this gift of faith, we have become God's people, partakers of divine mysteries. We are grateful to God for this immeasurable gift. We are not, however, the ultimate owners of this special gift. We are stewards, katiwala, Tinugyanan, Katalek, of God's gifts. Is there anything that we did not receive as gift? Its gift 
we receive is meant to be shared to one another. And so we are gifted to give. We must share the faith. Every gift is a responsibility. We recognize every gift, nurture it, generously share it with others, and gratefully return it with increase to the Lord. This is the meaning of the spirituality of stewardship. After five centuries of striving to live the Christian faith more fully, we heighten consciousness of our identity as stewards. We are stewards of life, talent, time, and material resources. These gifts are given to us for service, that we may become channels of God's providence to one another. The Holy Scriptures remind us, as each one has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's varied grace. We are certainly blessed not only when we receive, but especially when we give. God calls us to serve one another more generously, especially our poor brothers and sisters. The Lord Jesus made his own the prophecy of Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. From Luke 4:18. We then take the banner of preferential love for the poor. On this, Pope Francis tells us, our preferential option for the poor must mainly translate into a privileged and preferential religious care. From Evangelii Gaudium number 200. In this spirit, we reaffirm the mandate given us by the Second Plenary Council of the Philippines, or PCP2 in 1991, namely, tithing after a good pastoral catechesis shall be introduced with the end in view of the gradual abolition of the Aransel system from the, the PCP, uh, PCP2 decree number 118. The Aransel, which is the fixed amount asked for services given in our churches, can be a hindrance for the poor to receive God's grace and blessings. Let us do our best then to remove obstacles to genuine service, especially to the poor. For in the end, each of us will give an account of ourselves to God. From Romans 14, 12. And we heed the Lord Jesus' instruction to his disciples as he sent them on mission without cost you have received without cost you are to give from matthew 10 8. therefore we we as a church in the philippines once more commit ourselves to the gradual abolition of the arancel system this is a concrete step in renewing ourselves in the practice of stewardship praying that others may see us truly as good stewards of God's varied graces. We commit ourselves to education, formation, and catechesis in the spirituality of stewardship for our clergy, religious and laity in our dioceses, parishes, communities, and families, in view of adopting a concrete stewardship program in our dioceses to replace the Arancel system as soon as possible. In view of this, we will also put up a service arm that will concretely assist the dioceses that are having a difficulty in implementing this program. We envision local churches, parishes, and BECs sustained by a generous sharing of resources where those who have none are not left out of spiritual and material care, where stewardship is a way of life. 
This is a true image of the church. Brothers and sisters, we are all part of this endeavor, for we all belong to the church, the one family of God. We all share responsibility for the church. Thus, we encourage all the baptized to regularly, wholeheartedly, and generously contribute to the church so that we can fulfill our common mission of spreading the good news, of serving humanity, and caring for the whole of creation. For the earth is the Lord's and everything in it the world and all who live in it, from Psalms 24, 1. Let us not be afraid to give freely and cheerfully, even in times of crisis and difficulty like the COVID-19 pandemic that we are presently experiencing. Let us sustain the spirit of generosity that has spontaneously overflowed during this pandemic and has kept our communities in operation. We will look back with amazement and gratitude at these times, wondering how we got by even at the height of the lockdowns that we thought would seriously challenge the sustainability of our parishes. St. Paul reminds us, God is able to make every grace abundant for you, so that in all things, always having all you need, you may have an abundance for every good work. From 2 Corinthians 9, 8. May we not waver in our trust in God, for He never fails to provide for our needs. In all things, let God be our priority. Did not the Lord Jesus Himself assure us, seek first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things will be given you besides. From Matthew 6, 33. For the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines, Romolo G. Valles, D.D., Archbishop of Davao, and the President of the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines. We all stand. I believe in one God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty maker, maker of heaven and earth, earth of, of all things visible and invisible. And invisible. I, I believe, believe in, in one Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the, only the only begotten Son of God, God born of the of Father before, before all ages. ages. God, God from God, light, light from light, true, true God from true God, God begotten and not made, made Consubstantial with the Father. Father. Through, Through him, him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, salvation he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will, he will come, come again, again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess, I confess one, one baptism, baptism for, for the forgiveness, forgiveness of sins, and, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and, and the life of the world, world to come. come. Amen. Amen. The Father has given us new life in Christ Jesus who came to heal, to forgive, and to offer His life for us. With confidence, we pray, Lord, heal your people. Lord, heal your people. May the church, the sacrament of Christ's love, ever become the Lord's heart, hands, and feet, that she may continue to love, to heal, and to travel to announce the good news, we pray. Lord, Lord heal, heal your, your people. people. 
may government leaders, teachers and other educators, media people, and social workers responsibly promote, defend, and preserve the sanctity and dignity of human life against the culture of violence and death. We pray. Lord, Lord heal, heal your, your people. people. May our celebration of Pro-Life Sunday inspire us to hold on to the truth that all human life from the moment of conception to death is sacred and to defend the sacredness of human life, marriage, and family, we pray. Lord, heal, heal your, your people. people. May healthcare workers, through whom Christ continues to bless, heal, comfort, and lift up body and spirit, be aware of the special calling and perform their duties responsibly, we pray. Lord, heal your people. May consecrated persons continue on the ministry of mercy of Christ, who went about doing good and healing to all, we pray. Lord, heal your people. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, heal your, your people. people. Listen to our prayers, Lord. May our communities be aware of the needs of many of your people and teach us to strengthen one another and carry one another's burden. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Sama si kalangwa, Dios sama si kalangwa, Jatu mi kan siga, i jatu mi an siga, Then. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at, at your hands, hands for, the for the praise and glory of his name, name for, for our good, good and the good of all, all his holy, holy church. church. O Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race. So also through him, with great goodness, you form it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart to bless you. Therefore, we to extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Oh, yeah. 
made holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Victor, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep, in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, name, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray. From every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the, the power, power, and the glory, glory are, are yours, yours now, now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer it to one another in the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins, sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are invited to receive Him. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my, my roof, but only say, say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Our hearts fill us with peace, transform our lives and you open our eyes so that we might see your presence in one another, your life would out. as all in you, loving Lord, create your God, open our eyes to see the good that lives in each of us. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, through faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for some announcement. Circular 03 of the year 2021 to the caring faithful of the Diocese of Baguio, to the clergy of the Diocese of Baguio, subject Baguio and Benguet, and their community, and their general community quarantine for the month of February 2021, guidelines for the parishes and quasi-parishes of the Diocese of Baguio. Peace be with you. During this health crisis, we follow the guidelines already set by our civil authorities as we cooperate and help one another in facing this difficult situation that we are in. Hence, we reiterate and give the following instructions 
for all the parishes and quasi parishes in the Diocese of Baguio. First, minimum public health standards shall be complied at all times. Second, the following shall remain in their residence. Persons below 15 years old, those who are 65 years old and above, those with immunodeficiency, comorbidity or other health risks, pregnant women, and those who reside with the aforementioned. Third, religious gathering are allowed up to 30% of the seating capacity. The faithful are to observe the minimum public health standards such as wearing of face mask and availing of hand hygiene necessities, necessities available at the premises. Fourth, we continue to pray the revised Oratio Imperata against COVID-19. Fifth, other mass gatherings like recollections, seminars, and meetings are suspended. Given this 30th day of January in the year of Misio Ad Gentes at the Chancery Office, Father Carlos Street, Cabayanihan, Barangay, Baguio City, Philippines, signed Victor Bendico Didi, Bishop of Baguio. We stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow for the blessing. Be gracious to your people, O Lord, and do not withhold consolation on earth from those you call to strive for heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Here in our time, here in this place, here we're standing face to face. Here in our hearts, here in our eyes, our God is here. Here for the broken, here for the strong, here in this temple we belong. Here in our hearts, here in our lives, our God is here. And we cry, holy, holy, holy are you. We cry, holy, holy, holy and true. Amen, we do believe our God is here. Our God is here.